Hey my baddies! Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. We're gonna make well by the time you guys get this video, it won't be morning anymore. But we're gonna be making some French toast with that artisan bread that I bought. The maple brown sugar bread. Mmm, it smells so good. We're gonna make that, some scrambled eggs, and throw some bacon in the air fryer. Keep it simple. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make my iced coffee. Anyway, so before we get into the video, guys, I do want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, there's no need to wait. There's a, there's a notification bell that you can go ahead and hit. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when there's a new video uploaded. I was stumbling over my words, y'all. Sorry. So, I know I'm going to wash my hands. My mom said I need to stop playing in my hair while, before I'm cooking. But I, I constantly wash my hands, so I'm sorry, y'all. But, so, we're going to get into the video. Before we do that, please like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like this video and share with everybody. We are going to get right on into it. And start off with mixing up my eggs for my scrambled eggs and for my um, French toast. Check it out. All right, so first, y'all, I'm going to start off by buttering up my pan for the french toast and I have my ground cinnamon that I'm going to mix into my eggs and then I have one teaspoon of sugar I would have had my cinnamon dust if these kids ain't use all my stuff I'm going to add a little vanilla though just to give it a little bit more pop and yes I am still salty about my my dust that they use but you want to um incorporate it all real real good get the cinnamon sugar mixed in together and normally, I would add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to this, but I didn't have any. So, we're going to make it do what it do. I just added a little, little bit more butter to my pan so that I can place down um, more pieces of bread. I think I'm going to do like three at a time. I was struggling to get that open, but we got it, y'all. This bread looked like pound cake, y'all. It smells so good. So, you want to dip it in your egg uh, mixture. And you want to get it coated real nice and coated and let the excess drip off on both sides. Y'all, this really, really uh, feel like pound cake. <laughs> but I love the smell of it. It's smelling real good and sweet. All right, so I got my third piece good and coated. And as those cook, I'm going to start working on my scrambled eggs. I only put salt and pepper in my eggs. When I'm cooking breakfast, salt and pepper is pretty much the only seasonings I use, like even with grits and stuff. Also, I'm over here getting my bacon laid out, spread into the air fryer basket so I can get that cooking before I start on my eggs. I definitely want to get that started now. My um, pan has heated up, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, before I start on my scrambled eggs, give my French toast a quick flip so that I can have time to work on the eggs while that other side cooks. So, I'm going to add some shredded cheese to my eggs, just a little bit, not even half a cup, just a little pinch. Mix it up real, real, real good with the salt and pepper. And what I'm doing over here, y'all is it's a secret no but i just added a little splash of water yeah i said it water buttering up my pan but yeah water is what's the secret to getting fluffy eggs y'all low heat and a little splash of water i learned that from the cooking channel watching it as a kid and i swear i've been doing this my entire cooking life Put a little splash of water in your eggs rather than milk. And I promise you, you'll have fluffy eggs every time. And then cook on the low heat. And I also learned on the um, cooking channel that you turn off your heat at the very end and let your eggs just finish cooking um, while they're resting. Because you don't want overcooked eggs. But some people like hard their eggs scrambled hard. I like mine scrambled fluffy, light and fluffy, but still cooked all the way through. I had dropped my spoon on the floor, y'all. Y'all, I wanted to show y'all that I threw it um, back in the sink and went and got me a new one and a clean one or whatever. And as y'all see, I flipped over that bread, got a nice caramelization. And look at the fluff on them eggs. They done. Take them off the heat and let them finish. They done. Do nothing else to them eggs. But this is how the um, French toast is coming out. 
I'm going to drop. I got a little bit of mixture left in um, the bowl, and we're not going to let none of that go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and butter up this pan again so that I can drop down two more pieces. I promise you guys I'm using every single drop of this egg batter. I ain't going to let none of it go to waste. And I'm not going to eat all of this French toast right now. I'm going to have me a little snack later. So watch this, y'all. <laughs> when I tell you every little drop, I am soaking up every little drop. Yep. And then I see I had some more left in the bowl. And I was like, here is where the million dollar spatula comes in handy. You're going to get that spatula. You're going to scrape every single piece of egg onto that bread so that you get a nice caramelization crust as the other pieces. Make sure you guys tidy up as you go so that you're not in a chaotic rush or have chaos around you when you're trying to make your plate because while this cooks i'm gonna start building my plates and put away everything i don't like to be chaotic so how's your guys morning going mine is going great oh look at that caramelization them the two i'm gonna eat first <laughs> i always eat the hottest ones first but how's y'all day going? How's your week going? Everything going productive? Mine's is, I'm going, I have a consultation coming up to do my YouTube intro, guys. I'm so excited about that. And then this growth I have on TikTok. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. So as y'all seen, I placed my eggs on my plate already. And um, my bacon's just about done. I'm going to uh, check on that. Oh, that is so, so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and eat these two. While they're hot, I'm going to go ahead and throw some butter on them so it can melt. Definitely want to get that going. And go ahead and get my bacon out. Y'all, this breakfast smells so good. I wish I was here enjoying it with me. But I am going to um, take my first bite with you guys. The quick, simple breakfast. Just French toast, eggs, and bacon. I was going to do grits, but check it out. Okay, baddie, so that was breakfast, and I want to take a bite of it real quick because it smells so good, but I did want to show you guys how I make my iced coffee. Like, I wanted to show you guys rather than doing it uh, voiceover. So, y'all look, the butter melting on this. Oh, let me adjust this so you guys can see it a little better. The butter's melting put some syrup on it guys this bread smells so good I'm just looking for a this bread smells so good i'm sorry i got my um my sliding door open y'all probably hear the traffic out there i live right by the you know, um road whatever oh my god y'all baddies go try that artisan brown sugar bread oh my god this just took french toast to like a whole nother level my eggs nice and fluffy i gave y'all my secret bacon nice and crispy in the air fryer mm. i just wanted to try the um french toast with you guys I'm gonna put my plate down to make this iced coffee with y'all. One more bite though. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Okay, let's get into this video or this clip of the iced coffee. So, all right, I got everything, do I have everything? All right, so I start off using my caramel syrup and I go around the rim of the glass now guys i have a tiktok and i always leave my tiktok down in the description box below if you guys didn't know and then i pour my ice now guys when i do this i do it a lot more entertainingly like aggressive making noises throwing stuff um to all kinds of things to that nature and then i start assembling the coffee from there with the actual coffee so about three days ago you guys I did one of these coffee videos. Next, I'm gonna use Snickers creamer. I did one of these coffee videos and posted it. I woke up the next day, guys, 
and wait let me just tell y'all in a minute so next i'm going to take my french vanilla creamer and i'm going to use the frother to make a foam out of it i'm trying not to overdo it <clears throat> before i do that i am going to add some salted caramel syrup and then we're going to take the frother and we're going to make a foam out of it This is like my favorite part of it. Make you a little foam. So guys, I woke up the next day after I posted the video and while I had 23,000, I'm at 24,200 something views now. I was so freaking ecstatic, ecstatic. I was like, look, oh my God. Like, this video can literally get to a million views. I see it happening. Um, what I just put on here was hot cocoa flavored whipped cream and then top it off with a little caramel. Now, I did overflow it. I tried not to, but I always use, I always do. I always overflow it. And then at the end of the video, I get real aggressive and I mix together everything. And of course, you see it makes a mess. But for TikTok, it's very entertaining. Mm. Mm. That was good. <laughs> I don't know if y'all, I was trying to get it so y'all can see me drinking, but it gets messy. Mm. But that's it. That's how I make my co iced coffee. Y'all can check out more of my iced coffee videos on my TikTok channel. I will leave the link down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. So thank you guys for um tuning in to have breakfast with me. Thanks for listening to me about my TikTok journey. So I'm also going to start a new Facebook page to go along with YouTube and TikTok as well because I have my personal Facebook page that I just have to go separate from for content creating purposes. So I'm going to be doing that soon. I'm actually working on it. I'm going to be launching it soon. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, that video getting 24,000 views overnight. I was ecstatic. I had 111 subscribe or followers over on TikTok. And now I have 1100, almost 12. So I'm building up over there, guys. Check me out over there as well. I am so excited to build this empire with everybody, with you guys being here. It is just, oh, it means the world to me. Y'all, I want this so bad. And I feel like I'm going to keep pushing and staying consistent and just staying true to what I want to do. And we're going to make it there. So thank you, guys. Don't forget to like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like it, share this video with everybody. Until next time, bye.